Hi guys, Anthony here, and today we're diving into some real talk. We're about to explore the top 10 most dangerous cities in the United States. We're talking about places where crime rates are through the roof and danger lurks around every corner. From coast to coast, we'll uncover the urban jungles where survival is a daily struggle. Get ready to be shocked because we're not holding back. We're talking murder, robbery, assault, the whole nine yards. This is the real deal, folks, and it's time to shed some light on these troubled cities. So buckle up, grab some snacks, and get ready to learn about the places you might want to avoid on your next road trip. This is going to be intense. First up, we're heading to the heartland, to St. Louis, Missouri. This city's got a reputation and it's not a good one. With a sky-high crime rate, St. Louis consistently ranks among the most dangerous cities in America. We're talking about a city where carjackings, robberies, and assaults are sadly a regular occurrence. You can't walk down the wrong street at night without feeling that chill down your spine. But it's not all doom and gloom. St. Louis is also known for its iconic arch, delicious barbecue, and vibrant music scene. Just be sure to stay aware of your surroundings and stick to the safer areas. Next, we're rolling into the Motor City, Detroit, Michigan. Once a symbol of American industrial might, Detroit has faced economic hardship and a surge in crime, making it one of the most dangerous cities in the U.S. We're talking about a city where violent crime is a serious concern. Carjackings, homicides, and assaults plague many neighborhoods, leaving residents on edge. But amidst the challenges, Detroit is a city of resilience. It's home to a rich musical legacy, iconic architecture, and a fighting spirit that refuses to give up. However, it's crucial to be aware of the high-risk areas. Coming in at number three, we've got Baltimore, Maryland. This city, often referred to as Charm City, has a rich history and a vibrant culture that has shaped its identity over the years. From its iconic inner harbor to its historic neighborhoods, Baltimore has a lot to offer. But like many urban areas, it also faces significant challenges. Now, Baltimore has been making headlines for a while now, and not for good reasons. The city has been grappling with a high crime rate that has drawn national attention. These headlines often paint a grim picture, focusing on the violence and criminal activities that plague certain areas. This city has been grappling with some serious crime issues, and it's important to understand the trends before you even think about stepping foot there. The crime rate in Baltimore is significantly higher than the national average, and this has been a persistent issue for many years. The local authorities are working tirelessly to combat this problem, but it's a complex issue that requires a multifaceted approach. We're talking about a city with a homicide rate that's way higher than the national average. This isn't just a recent development, it's been an ongoing struggle. The homicide rate in Baltimore is one of the highest in the country, and this has a profound impact on the community. Families are affected, neighborhoods are destabilized, and the overall sense of safety is compromised. This isn't about scaring anyone, but you gotta be real with yourselves, you know? It's crucial to be aware of the realities on the ground. Residents often express their concerns about safety, and it's a topic that comes up frequently in community discussions. People are worried, and rightfully so, but it's also important to recognize that there are efforts underway to address these issues. Knowledge is power, and in this case, that knowledge could keep you safe. Community safety meetings are held regularly, where residents and law enforcement come together to discuss strategies for improving safety. These meetings are a testament to the community's resilience and their commitment to making Baltimore a better place. It's not just homicides, either. The crime problem in Baltimore extends to other types of criminal activities as well. Robberies, assaults, and other violent crimes are also prevalent. These incidents contribute to the overall sense of insecurity in the city. We're talking robberies, assaults, you name it. The range of criminal activities is broad, and it affects people from all walks of life. The police are constantly on the move, responding to incidents and trying to maintain order. It's a challenging job, and they face numerous obstacles in their efforts to keep the city safe. It's a tough situation, and it's been going on for a while. The history of crime in Baltimore is long and complex, with various factors contributing to the current state of affairs. Economic disparities, social issues, and other underlying problems all play a role in the city's crime rate. The thing is, Baltimore's got a lot of potential, you know? Despite the challenges, the city has a lot to offer. 
Its historical landmarks, cultural events, and vibrant communities are a testament to its resilience and spirit. There's a lot of good in Baltimore, and it's important to acknowledge that. It's got history, it's got culture, but this crime problem is holding it back. The city's rich history and cultural heritage are often overshadowed by the crime statistics. But for those who take the time to explore, there's a wealth of experiences to be had. From world-class museums to lively festivals, Baltimore has a lot to offer. It's important to remember that these statistics don't tell the whole story. While the crime rate is high, there are also many safe and thriving communities within the city. People are working hard to make a difference and their efforts are making an impact. There are people working hard to make Baltimore a safer place, and there are communities within the city that are relatively safe. Volunteers, community leaders, and law enforcement are all playing a role in these efforts. Their dedication and hard work are helping to create pockets of safety and stability within the city. It's a challenging journey, but with continued effort and collaboration, there's hope for a brighter future for Baltimore. Next up, at number four, we've got Memphis, Tennessee. This city, located along the Mississippi River, is a vibrant hub of culture, history, and music. It's a place where the past and present blend seamlessly, creating a unique atmosphere that you won't find anywhere else. Now, Memphis is known for its music, its food, and unfortunately, its crime rate. Beale Street is the heart of the city's music scene, where you can hear the soulful sounds of blues, jazz, and rock and roll spilling out of every bar and club. And let's not forget the mouth-watering barbecue that Memphis is famous for. Whether you're a fan of dry rub or wet, there's a barbecue joint here that will make your taste buds sing. But we can't ignore the fact that Memphis has a crime rate that's significantly higher than the national average. This is a city where the crime statistics are a real concern for both residents and visitors alike. The numbers don't lie, and they paint a picture of a city grappling with serious issues. It's like, imagine you're ordering a pizza, right? You expect one pizza to arrive at your door, and instead of getting one pizza, you get like five pizzas. It's overwhelming and not what you signed up for. That's kind of what it's like in Memphis, but instead of pizza, it's crime. The sheer volume of incidents can be overwhelming and unexpected. Okay, maybe not the best analogy, but you get the point. The crime rate here is something that can't be ignored, and it's not just one type of crime either. We're talking property crime, violent crime, the whole shebang. From car break-ins to more serious offenses, the spectrum of crime in Memphis is broad and concerning. It's a serious issue that affects everyone who lives in or visits Memphis. The local community is deeply impacted, and it creates a sense of unease that can be felt throughout the city. But hey, let's not get too down on Memphis. Despite its challenges, the city has a lot to offer. The riverfront is a beautiful place to relax and take in the sunset, and the parks are perfect for a leisurely stroll or a family picnic. It's got a lot to offer, from cultural events to historical landmarks. Graceland, the home of Elvis Presley, is a must-visit for any music lover. It's a place where you can step back in time and see how the king of rock and roll lived. And like I always say, it's important to focus on the positive. Memphis has a rich cultural heritage and a vibrant community that works hard to make the city a better place. Just remember, if you're ever in Memphis, be aware of your surroundings. It's always a good idea to stay alert and be mindful of where you are. Keep your wits about you, travel in groups when possible, and avoid areas that are known to be less safe, especially at night. And you should be good to go. Enjoy the music, savor the food, and take in all the sights and sounds that make Memphis a unique and unforgettable destination. With a little caution and common sense, you can have a fantastic time in this iconic city. Memphis is also home to some incredible festivals and events throughout the year. From the Beale Street Music Festival to the World Championship Barbecue Cooking Contest, there's always something happening that brings the community together and attracts visitors from all over the world. The city is also rich in educational opportunities. The National Civil Rights Museum, located at the Lorraine Motel where Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was assassinated, offers a profound and moving experience that educates visitors about the history of the civil rights movement. And for families, the Memphis Zoo is a fantastic place to spend the day. With a wide variety of animals and interactive exhibits, it's a fun and educational experience for kids and adults alike. When the sun goes down, Memphis comes alive with a vibrant nightlife. Whether you're into live music, dancing, or just enjoying a drink with friends, there's no shortage of places to have a great time. And let's not forget the local markets and shops. From unique boutiques to bustling farmers markets, 
Memphis offers a shopping experience that's as diverse and eclectic as the city itself. The sense of community in Memphis is strong. There are numerous events and initiatives aimed at bringing people together and making the city a better place for everyone. Volunteering and community involvement are highly encouraged and make a real difference. Sports fans will also find plenty to cheer about in Memphis. Whether it's catching a Grizzlies game at the FedEx Forum or supporting the local baseball team, the Redbirds, there's always a game to watch and a team to root for. The culinary scene in Memphis is also worth exploring. Beyond barbecue, the city boasts a variety of restaurants offering everything from southern comfort food to international cuisine. The creativity and passion of Memphis chefs are evident in every dish. Art lovers will appreciate the thriving art scene in Memphis. Galleries, street art, and public installations can be found throughout the city, showcasing the talent and creativity of local artists. And for history buffs, Memphis is a treasure trove of historical sites and landmarks. From the Cotton Museum to Sun Studio, where legendary musicians like Elvis and Johnny Cash recorded their hits, there's so much to learn and discover. Community gardens are another highlight of Memphis. These green spaces not only provide fresh produce, but also bring neighbors together and promote sustainability. And don't miss out on a riverboat tour along the Mississippi. It's a relaxing way to see the city from a different perspective and learn more about its history and significance. So, while Memphis does have its challenges, it's also a city full of life, culture, and opportunities. With its rich history, vibrant community, and endless things to see and do, Memphis is a place that leaves a lasting impression on everyone who visits. In the end, Memphis is a city of contrasts. It's a place where the struggles and triumphs of its people are woven into the fabric of the city. And that's what makes it so special. So if you ever find yourself in Memphis, take the time to explore, enjoy, and appreciate all that this incredible city has to offer. Coming in at number five, we've got Kansas City, Missouri. This city, often referred to as the heart of America, is a vibrant and culturally rich metropolis that straddles the border between Missouri and Kansas. With a population of over 500,000 people, it is the largest city in Missouri and the 37th largest city in the United States. Now Kansas City is known for its barbecue, its jazz music, and unfortunately, its high violent crime rate. The city's barbecue is legendary, with a unique style that has earned it a place among the top barbecue destinations in the world. Jazz music also has deep roots here, with the city playing a pivotal role in the development of the genre. However, it's impossible to ignore the darker side of Kansas City, where the violent crime rate casts a shadow over its cultural achievements. We're talking about a city where the violent crime rate is significantly higher than the national average, which is never a good thing. In fact, Kansas City consistently ranks among the top cities in the United States for violent crime, with rates that are more than double the national average. This includes crimes such as homicide, aggravated assault, and robbery. The local law enforcement agencies are working tirelessly to combat this issue, but it remains a significant challenge. It's like, imagine you're trying to win a prize in a claw machine and the claw is rigged to drop the prize every time. This analogy perfectly captures the frustration and helplessness that many residents feel when it comes to the crime situation in their city. Despite their best efforts to stay safe and protect their loved ones, the odds often seem stacked against them. That's kind of what it's like in Kansas City. But instead of a prize, it's your safety. Walking the streets at night can be a daunting experience, with many areas becoming virtual ghost towns after dark due to safety concerns. The fear of becoming a victim of crime is a constant presence in the lives of many Kansas City residents. It's a tough situation and it's important to acknowledge the very real challenges that the people of Kansas City face. Community leaders and residents are actively engaged in efforts to improve safety and reduce crime, from neighborhood watch programs to community meetings where they discuss strategies and solutions. These initiatives are a testament to the resilience and determination of the people who call Kansas City home. But remember, Every city has its problems, and Kansas City is more than just its crime rate. It is a city with a rich history, diverse culture, and a strong sense of community. From the historic 18th and Vine Jazz District to the bustling Country Club Plaza, there is so much to explore and appreciate in Kansas City. It's got a lot of heart, a lot of soul, and a lot to offer. Whether you're savoring the smoky flavors of Kansas City barbecue, tapping your feet to the rhythms of a live jazz performance, or enjoying a sunny afternoon in one of the city's many parks. 
There's a sense of warmth and hospitality that permeates every corner of Kansas City. Just be sure to stay informed and take precautions, especially if you're visiting from out of town. Research the areas you plan to visit, stay aware of your surroundings, and follow local advice to ensure a safe and enjoyable experience. Kansas City has so much to offer, and with a little preparation, you can make the most of your visit while staying safe. All right, guys, coming in at number six on our list of the most dangerous cities in the USA is Cleveland, Ohio. And let me tell you, the statistics here are pretty grim. We're talking a violent crime rate that's more than double the national average. That's insane. In 2022 alone, Cleveland recorded over 7,000 violent crimes. That's an average of almost 20 every single day. So, if you're ever in Cleveland, it's super important to be aware of your surroundings and take precautions to stay safe. Next up, we're heading to Milwaukee, Wisconsin, a city known for its beer cheese and unfortunately, a pretty high crime rate. Milwaukee has been grappling with increasing crime rates for the past few years, and it's really concerning. In 2022, Milwaukee recorded its highest homicide rate in over two decades. That's a scary thought. It's important to remember that behind these statistics are real people and real families affected by this violence. Number eight on our list takes us to Albuquerque, New Mexico, a city known for its beautiful desert landscapes and vibrant culture. But unfortunately, Albuquerque is also facing a serious crime problem. The city has one of the highest property crime rates in the nation, with things like car theft and burglary being a major concern. And it's not just property crime that's a problem, violent crime rates are also alarmingly high in Albuquerque. Coming in at number 9, we have Stockton, California. Man, this place is beautiful with the California Delta and all but it has some rough areas you gotta watch out for. We're talking about a city with a violent crime rate that's way higher than the national average. It's seriously scary stuff. Like imagine walking down the street and bam, you're caught in the middle of something crazy. And it's not just one part of town either. There are neighborhoods in Stockton where the violence is just out of control. We're talking about places with names like South Stockton and Central Stockton. These areas are tough, guys. We're talking about gang activity, drug trafficking, the whole nine yards. It's like something out of a movie, but it's real life for the people who live there. And last but not least, we have Indianapolis, Indiana coming in at number 10. Now, Indianapolis is known for its racing, its history, and its Midwestern charm. But unfortunately, it's also got a serious crime problem that's been getting worse in recent years. We're talking about everything from theft and vandalism to shootings and homicides. And it's not just in the bad parts of town either. Crime is spreading to neighborhoods that used to be considered safe. It's crazy, right? You never know what's going to happen these days. Some people say it's because of the pandemic. Others say it's because of poverty and lack of opportunity. Whatever the reason, it's a problem that needs to be addressed. So, there you have it guys, the top 10 most dangerous cities in the USA. It's a scary list, but it's important to be aware of these things, especially if you're planning on traveling to or living in any of these cities. Remember, knowledge is power. And by being informed, you can make smarter decisions about your safety and the safety of your loved ones. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more travel guides.